The young son of a famous motorcycle racer and actor is dead after a car barreled into a construction zone and hit him while he was working. 21-year-old Connor Penhall died late last night on the 10 right near Baldwin Park. Police believe the man behind the wheel in that crash may have been drunk. KTLA's Jim Nash is live near the scene with the very latest for us. Jim? Yeah, Chris, you know, uh, this stretch of the 10 westbound is closed every night at 11 o'clock for construction. It was closed last night when an apparently intoxicated driver came along and hit a contract worker at a high rate of speed. That young man killed is Connor Penhall, son of actor and racing legend Bruce Penhall. 21-year-old Connor Penhall was killed instantly while he operated a concrete saw in a clearly marked construction zone on the 10 westbound at Francisquito just before midnight. CHP investigators say 37-year-old Sakamoto Tatsuhiko of Arcadia was driving about 60 miles an hour when he crashed through barricades, hitting Penhall and knocking him about 75 feet from impact. Tatsuhiko was arrested at the scene on suspicion of DUI, vehicular manslaughter, and attempting to flee the scene. The CHP says this stretch of the 10 is closed every night for construction. Connor's famous father, Bruce Penhall, is the actor who played Eric Estrada's sidekick in the final year of the Chip series in the 1980s. Before that, Bruce Penhall was the two-time world motorcycle racing champion. The news of Connor's tragic death has left the Penhall family in shock. Connor's brother, Ryan, tweeted briefly, You never know what you have until you lose it. Don't call me. A CHP spokesperson tweeted this message. Our condolences to our brother Bruce Penhall and his family. Your extended CHP family mourns along with you. Rest in peace. Shortly after the accident, a CHP officer talked with KTLA's Jennifer Gould about the dangers faced by all Caltrans and contract workers, as well as CHP officers on the highways, from inattentive drivers. Uh, a lot of distracted driving can be a problem. Uh, people are uh, changing radio stations, looking at their cell phones, um, eating in the vehicle. Uh, a lot of distractions that cause the vehicles to veer to the right, strike officers. Uh, disabled vehicles on the, on the roadway, it, it, it is a big problem. Connor Penhall was following in his dad's footsteps in American motorcycle racing since 2003, wearing the number 81. And as we come back live, the accident scene long ago cleared. Uh, we have learned from the CHP KTLA 5 that uh, when, uh, when uh, Bruce Penhall showed up here at the scene early this morning, the coroner allowed him to have one last look at his son's body. We're live in Baldwin Park. Back to you guys.